in Asia, when we visit a relative or friend, we always wrap up some sweet or fruits and bring it to them as gift. Today, we are going to talk about food under wraps, but in a different sense. So I'm going to show you the first food, the first dish under wrap. I call it salmon with black bean sauce. Or I can call it big salmon with black bean sauce in a foil. Okay. This particular dish is one of my favorite when I use the oven. But before I do it, I need some rap music to get excited. <laughs> okay. I am really excited. <laughs> now, I am ready to wrap and roll. This particular dish, all you really need is salmon. This is approximately one and a half pound of marvelous salmon from the West Coast. Washington, a lot of great salmon. All I have to do is cut it into big chunks. I'm gonna cut it into three or four chunks right here. Use a knife, cut it up. One, two, three. See, and then you put it back here. Right before you put it back here, you want to make a marinade. And I'm going to get ready some marinade so we can marinate it so this would taste marvelous. All I need is a tiny bit of soy sauce, two tablespoons of soy sauce, put it right here. And also I use approximately two tablespoons of dry sherry. And also approximately one teaspoon of sesame seed oil. Also use a tiny bit of white pepper and cornstarch, okay? Then mix them all up, marinate this anywhere from half an hour to two hours overnight, depends on how much time you have. Put them all together. Make sure you turn them upside down, upside down, upside down, inside out. Turn them up, depends on how much time you have. You can do this 600 times. <laughs> and you set it aside and then when this is ready, you can get ready because you know why? Because I'm gonna make a topping to put it on top of these before I wrap it up, okay? In this particular topping, we have some black bean. This is, let me show you. This is salted black bean, also called fermented black bean. The Chinese call Tao Si, okay? All you have to do is rinse it in water and use the back of your knife, this handle. You kind of crush it a little bit to get the flavor out, okay? This is how functional a knife is. After this, you put over here two to three tablespoons of these black beans. You can buy this and you can store this. It can keep for approximately 12 months, up to 14 months, up to 24 months. <laughs> and then also use a tiny bit of green onion and garlic and ginger. Look at all these wraps. We're gonna get a tiny bit of garlic. Done. Garlic, ginger. Oh, done. And then green onion. Okay. Put it all together. And you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All together. Put them all over here. All you have is also use approximately one teaspoon of sugar. You can cut it down, you don't have to use it at all. When this is nice and ready, we set it aside, I will show you how easy you can do it. Here, you have some foil, okay? You can use foil, you can use anything, it doesn't make any difference, foil. We put a big piece of this salmon, okay? Put it right here. And then, you can put some topping right on top. Put it right over here. Fish cooked this way is soon the juice and keep all the moisture and flavor inside so it tastes very good. You use no oil so it's really nice. You wrap it up like this or like this or like this. No problem at all. It depends on your mood, okay? Wrap it up, roll it, roll it so this way it's sealing the juice, okay? Look at this, marvelous. You wrap it. There's nothing fishy about this. Everything is under wrap. Look at this. Once it's done, you're gonna 
turn on your oven, preheat the oven to about 400 degree and bake it for about 12 to 14, up to 15 minutes, okay? And we'll put it all together. Now, if you don't want to use foil, you can use parchment paper, no problem at all. And then we're gonna put it in the oven, okay? And then in the meantime, we'll see. We have something done ahead of time because we've got a lot of people around here, special guests. And the problem I have is when you bake it, they change shapes. <laughs> wow, this is hot. <sighs> Marvelous. Let us see what happened. If you have time, you can also put a tiny, tiny bit of julian, black mushroom over there to give more flavor. Let's put over here. It is real, it's hot. <laughs> Believe it. <laughs> wow, look at this. This is marvelous. And then you quickly use your hand, you take it out. It's very, very dangerous. Put it right here. <laughs> it is marvelous. When this is done, you put it over here. You see, the wonderful thing about this is, there are, as I always tell my mother, there are more to fish stick. Instead of fish stick, from now on, you Dig the fish in the oven. You have marvelous salmon with black bean sauce in foil. <laughs> I'm going to show you some other foods which we've been keeping under wraps. This is a marvelous wrap group here. Look at this. <laughs> here we have the glutinous rice and banana. And here we have miso with banana. We have the Vietnamese pork pate. And here we have the Hawaiian style lao lao. And here we have coconut flavor rice in coconut leaves. And here we have fish in tea leaf. You bake them, you can steam them. And here is a famous Chinese zhong, like the Chinese tamale in bamboo leaf, inside it's glutinous rice. And this is glutinous rice with banana. They're all foods under wrap. That's why I said, it's a marvelous wrap group. <laughs> the next thing I wanna show you is some more wrap food, which the first thing I wanna show you is something I like it very much. This is what I call steam rice noodle roll. It's a very, very popular dim sum item. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is. Here, we have rock and roll. In China, we have rice and roll. <laughs> Here, all we have is some beef. Normally, in this particular dish, it's very popular. You can use beef, you can use chicken, ground chicken, or you can also use shrimp or barbecue pork. But since we all have this, I have nothing else but beef. This is all I can find from the fridge. So we're going to marinate the beef, okay? This is approximately a quarter of a pound. You can make about three or four rolls, okay? All I have to do is use about two tablespoons of dry sherry and approximately two teaspoons of sesame seed oil and about two teaspoons of soy sauce. Exactly. And also put a tiny bit of cornstarch, okay? And egg white. Marvelous, look at this, egg white. And then you use this to mix it up, let it marinate. Let it marinate overnight if you want, but you know, half an hour or even 30 seconds is fine. It depends on whether you are living in the fast lane or the slow lane. <laughs> I don't know about you, I live in the slow lane. <laughs> this morning, I drove here, and it took me two hours. It's only about 15 miles. <laughs> okay, let it mix in them up. When you do that at home in your privacy or your kitchen, you go, done. <laughs> much better, much faster. Let us sit it aside. This should be very easy to do, okay? And also, you want, you can also cut up a tiny bit of green onion. I always do everything faster. Okay, 
Now this onion, you can put it in later, you can put it in now. It makes no difference. It just gives some flavor and color. In the meantime, I'm bringing some water to a boil so I can steam, okay? Let's mix them all up. Mix them all up. This looks marvelous. In fact, you can stir fry this. In fact, you can make beef ball out of this. You can do all kinds of things. Shape it up and you can steam them. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is something very important. We're gonna do the noodle, the rice noodle better. Here, I have approximately one and a half cups of unsifted cake flour, okay? And then also, I use about three tablespoons of cornstarch mixed in with it. Three tablespoons of cornstarch, a tiny, tiny bit of salt. We have to have salt. It's already inside there, I just found out. And also, use about two cups of water, mix it up. Water, water, stir, water, stir, stir. It depends. If you have no patience, dump the whole thing in there. <laughs> and then, marvelous. Okay, it should be, now you wonder, why it is so thin? Hey, don't worry, you're not making pancake. <laughs> this is not supposed to be pancake. And then you put the oil in here. Okay, this way, when you steam it, it will come out. Otherwise, you're gonna have sticky rice noodle roll. Okay, when this is nice and ready, we are going to put this over here and we are going to steam this. Now, this is how you do it, okay? Look, you pull this right in here. Okay, very, very thin, okay? Nice and thin. Now, if you have time, you should mix it a little bit better. And since I'm always in a rush, oh, a little lump here. This is what you call steamed rice noodle roll with two lumps. <laughs> oh, this is exciting. I hope you find it exciting at home. <laughs> and then we will sprinkle this around. Now, in Chinese restaurant, they do this halfway. They steam this almost done, and then they put it in. But I find out this is much easier to do. You just steam this, sprinkle them around like this, okay? And you do about three or four of them at one time. Depends on how many tier of these bamboo steamer you have. When it's ready, you take this out, and you steam it like this, okay? Now, how long are you gonna steam it? You steam it for approximately five to six minutes, up to seven minutes. Depends whether you're using gas or you use electric burner, okay? Of course, gas burner doesn't take too long to do it, okay? Now, when it's done, you are ready, you take it out. <laughs> One is done, you take it out. Wow, two is done, you continue to steam this. So you can steam it for 600 people. <laughs> then, <laughs> this is hot, so you use this crooked, what they call bamboos. You see, this is a lifter, steam lifter. It actually works. I am impressed. <laughs> and you put it right over here, and then this is how you do it. And you roll it, you roll it like this. You roll it, you roll it. <sighs> Tough to make a living. And you roll it, roll it, roll, 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 roll. This is what you call rice roll. No. <laughs> Hurry up, it is done. When it's done, you can transfer this into this marvelous plate and you serve with hoisin sauce and soy sauce and sprinkle a tiny bit of sesame seed oil. And this is how beautiful this dish can be. Look at this. You can put a tiny bit of hoisin sauce right here, a tiny bit of hoisin sauce right here, tiny bit of hoisin sauce, and you sprinkle a tiny bit of Oh, look at this, look at this, soy sauce. And here you are, <laughs> steamed rice roll. The most famous food under wrap is the Chinese egg roll. You call spring roll too. This is how we make them for millions of people. Cooking is a personal sport most of the time, but sometimes it requires a little teamwork. Let's meet the team champions of the egg roll makers. We wear these caps to assure the high sanitary standards. Next time when I'm going on a shower, I'll be thinking about egg rolls. There's a real pose here. They can wrap 6,000 egg rolls 
in an hour. Look at how fast these hens are. These are the fastest hens in the east, the west, and anywhere else in the world. I get tired just by watching these ladies speeding fingers when they work. They concentrate so much, they don't even have time to smile. Oh, sometimes they do take a break. It is amazing to see how every egg will look alike, absolutely identical. And they are wrapped so tightly that everything stays inside too. They don't even use the stapler. The common ingredient for the egg roll fillings is pork or shrimp with cabbage, bamboo shoot, carrot, garlic, and all the secret seasonings. I think I'm getting a lot better at this. I just make three, finally. I have great news for you. They told me I can keep all the ones that I make to take it back to the studio just for you. How generous. <laughs> now we can cut up this into 5,000 pieces. So each one of you can share our taste of the show. By the way, anybody want a cap? <laughs> no? Steve. It's yours. Anything I don't want, I give it to Steve. <laughs> now, the next one I want to show you is a wonderful food under wrap raw wonton soup. Wonton soup, everybody know what it is. Raw means pot of wonton soup, okay? All I have for the filling, you got to get all the filling ready. All I have is a quarter pound of ground pork, quarter pound of shrimp, and a tiny bit of mushroom and green onion, and marinated with sesame seed oil, white pepper, and cornstarch. Make them ahead of time. I have it right over here, okay? So you don't have to do it in the last minute. To save time, you can heat up the broth, okay? Heat up the broth right here. Okay, let's heat it up. So this way we can cook the mushroom and the green onion and the ham and the bok choy and all those ahead of time while you fold the one ton, okay? Everybody see that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put them all together. Mushroom, stack them all up. Put them all together. And then I have some bok choy and some snow pea and some barbecue pork or ham. We put them all together in the pot to save time, okay? Let's put them all over here. Let's do one, two, three. One, two, three. And then this one, two, three. Put them all together. Bring it to a boil. Why you're doing the wonton so this way you can save time. Now when you do this at home, you should do the wonton, wrap the wonton the night before. You make sure you chop this up very, very small. If this is too big and too bulky, it will beat the wrap. <laughs> Always keep the wonton wrappers or egg roll wrapper or similar wrapper, spring roll wrappers, cover with moist towels. Keep it from drying. So you always keep it under wrap. Now, here it's nice and moist. You don't want to make it too dry. If it's dry, it would crack. We'll show you. Here, I have all this ingredient, okay? Ground pork, shrimp, mushroom, and green onion. This is how you do it. Put it right in the middle. Put a tiny bit of, if you want, you can put a tiny bit of water right here. Seal it. And then you make it into a triangle. Fold it to the other side, like this. Put a tiny bit of water right here. See this? And then you fold it in like this. Look. One, two, three. You just twist it. It's one ton. We're going to have another ton. Okay. One over here. We show you once again. Seal this, seal this once again. You see that? Put a tiny bit of water right over here. One ton in Chinese means swallowing the cloud. Okay. When the one ton is floating in the soup, it's just like cloud floating. This filling. It's very filling, so you can have a one-dish meal. For the diet conscious, okay, this is good advice for the diet conscious. This is all you need. Put it right here. And then you put a tiny bit of water here, and then all you see is the wrapper. And then you're going to have a diet one ton. This is one ton. This is a quarter of a ton. <laughs> And then when this is boiling, you put the wonton 
all over there and bring it to a boil. Now, in Chinese restaurant or at home, a lot of time you can boil this separately in boiling water and set it in water, cold water, so you do not have to do it in the last minute. When it's all nice and done, I want to show you how easy it is. When it's nice and done, you can take it out from here, which I have done because we've got so many people that they want to try, including Steve. So we will show Steve, this is not for you. When this is all nice and done, this is an other food under wrap. One time two. Now, everybody knows spring roll, egg roll is wonderful. We just saw how they make egg rolls for millions of people, right? Here, you see this is the Filipino lumpia. Lumpia is a Filipino version of the Chinese egg roll. In the Philippines, the egg roll is a Chinese version of the lumpia. <laughs> Inside there, in this lumpia, you have Napa cabbage, rosette, potato, chayote. This is chayote, very popular vegetable in, far in, the, in Asia. And also hakecomer, carrot and green onion. Put them all together, marinate them, you put them in and deep fry until golden brown. It's marvelous. This is another dish, which is my favorite. I'm going to show you how to do the fresh Vietnamese rice paper bundle. Here, I have some rice paper here, paper thin paper, okay? You can buy them in a the store. All you have to do is you got to wet them. So make sure they are moistened, okay? After you wet them, you can spray them or you can just brush them like this and cover up with towel like this so they will stay nice and moist. In the meantime, you put all the ingredients together. Now, wrapping food is international affair. In Italian cuisine, you have ravioli, Mexican cuisine, you have burritos, Vietnamese. This is the rice paper bundle, okay? All I have to do is some nice chicken, some cellophane noodles, put them all together. Cook them for about two minutes. And you put some chopped cilantro, okay? And also put a tiny bit of one tablespoon to two tablespoon fish sauce. Fish sauce normally come in a bottle like this. They either make in China or Vietnam or Thailand, fish sauce. And also some sesame seed oil and pepper, black pepper, about half a teaspoon or so. And then also you can sprinkle some red bell pepper and green onion. Now I want to show you how easy it is to cut up some red bell pepper. All done, okay? And then you mix them all up. If you want, you can put a tiny, tiny bit of Watercress, put it aside, mix them all up with a tiny, tiny bit of, I already told you, fish sauce, okay, pepper. Mix them all up. Then you can wrap this up like this. Look at this. This is food for the soul and your body, not food for thought. That's why you don't have to use New York time to wrap it up. <laughs> Look at this. I want to show you. You got to wrap it tight, okay a tie, a lot of stuff. Just like a buffet, you can put your own thing. You can put a tiny, tiny bit of watercress and you wrap it up very, very tight like this. And you serve with lettuce and a marvelous dipping sauce. And this particular dipping sauce is what you have here. Now this dipping sauce, we have extra um, fish sauce, we have lime juice, we have a tiny bit of chili paste, and also minced garlic, everything. When you eat it, you just wrap this up, and you dip this in, and it's marvelous. It's very easy to do. This paper got all kind of goodies inside. That's why you call a bundle of joys inside. <laughs> that completes our undercover assignment today. I hope you have enjoyed our food under wrap. Until next time. If Yen can cook, so can you. Join in. <laughs>